and welcome back to some more predecessor today we're playing some severog in the offlane who's kind of a weird character severog not going to be very active in the early game almost ever especially for us we're against a grux and they have a kai and we're on the red side so early on we're just going to be trying to not get murdered by both of them combined um as if grux alone couldn't do it severog is a scaling tank he's a weirdo for that i honestly feel like for most play and I don't have a ton of information on this. I don't have a ton of experience on this. I feel like he's mostly bad. I know that he seems to be competitively viable because the little bits that I've peeked at tournaments, I've actually seen him get some playtime and look solid in that playtime. Um, see how he wants to play this. Not too greedy. Yeah, he's going to be able to get some poke on me. He's going to do the Grux thing. I thought that would have lasted it there. Actually surprised he's letting me out trade him here a little bit. Get a little stack. We want to be stacking with abilities where we can. Um, because that's how our passive works. Oh, is that why? Does he want me to push up to this? Is he cooking a little? They might end up forcing my flash early here, because there's not a whole lot I get to do about this. I just kind of needed to not push forehead, and then I didn't actually do that. We might get our dash momentarily. Nah, I think we'll just keep the tether. Probably not gonna focus too much on stacking early on. God, I think I got kind of cooked by Grux passive there. God, that's that slow? It's been a while since I played him. It has been a minute since I played him. Did not think part of it's also going to be East Coast is going to stand out with this, I'm sure, is, is how slow our E is. Okay, let's just not be punished. What? Brother. That's a flash. I want my minion wave if I can get it. Grux maybe flashes for me too here. Does Kai go behind the tower? I wonder if I can kite them if he goes behind tower. It seems like he's kind of looking for the dive. I think I can cook though. Oh, didn't quite eat the tower shot, that's too bad. Yeah, we're probably in an awkward spot where I think he's probably freely invading blue buff and then at some point will dive me here. If we die, it's really not a big deal. If that's something that ends up happening. But it's something to be vigilant about. No, he did go mid. All right, let's go ahead and back. Yeah, that's fine. We wasted a little bit of time early on. We didn't use our flash. We did get Kai's flash. So I feel like that's honestly solid for us. I think the big thing is I needed to not push up at all. I kind of just saw it felt to me like, and he might have just actually goofed. It felt like Grux kind of missed his chance to pressure hard on first wave. So I actually like fought back more than I should. We should have given up on it. But that's okay. So yeah, the reason we are a scaling character on Severog um, our Q right now is 75 damage, rank 1. It looks pretty good, right? Well, at rank 5, it's 135 damage. It's garbage, and it's kind of our main thing in terms of... Damn, our wave pushed so hard. Why? Why did it... What What sort of minion diff nonsense is that, man? Are my minions just paid worse? Are they about to unionize? What's happening? His minions went into tower, so my minions just push up like normal. Yeah? Yeah? And then mine are just mine are just trolling me. I don't know. By the way, if we can actually manage to last hit the siege minions, we do get a little bonus stacking for our passive. But we're trying to stack up this passive by landing ability damage, and that scales up our Q and makes our Q a significantly better ability. Um, so eventually, if we stack well, by the time we're late game, we're like doubling its base damage, which is still not insane, but it basically makes the ability a lot stronger. So hypothetically, if he's trading me here, uh, he's going to be backing soon. Oops, I kind of, I don't know, I just thought the minions would be there. Um, he's going to be backing soon, so me trading him, not super purposeful right now. Though he is sticking out for one more wave, which is weird. Are you not? We'll try and hold this wave here, make him miss some farm. We'll also try and stack up passive exclusively if we can manage to. So yeah, early game, we are going to be using a whole lot of mana and taking quite a bit of damage um, in order to just simply stack up our passive. And we're not going to be necessarily trying to fight him much because for one thing, he's Grux, so he should just win it if he plays it well. Um, but but then also, like because we're spending that extra time investing in stacking, it's harder to, uh, to actually PvP. So we're kind of consuming resources for that and using abilities for that. Like, if I just brawl him in lane, for one thing, we should lose, and then also we don't scale into late game as hard, which sucks for us. 
Let's see, I want to be going up here. I also don't want to get too punished. It's a little bit of an awkward spot for me. Let's see how much the minions do. Take that. Clear this out. Okay, that's not too bad. I can take that. Can take a little bit. We do want to be going back for Brimstone momentarily if we can. Um, one thing to watch out for, Red Buff just spawned, so I really doubt Kai ganks right now. But he probably is going to be looking to come over to this right or this left side of the map soon. I think I'll just eat this for now. So close. If I could get the E just a little bit sooner, we kill him there. I saw that coming. That's why I shut up so much. <laughs> so I knew that was coming a mile away as we got low there. That sucks. We're going to miss some farm off that. Um, him getting to bully is Grux early game into me, who's just an absolute garbage tier early game character is not a big deal. It's how it should be. As we get ultimate, we'll have a little bit more of a tool to defend ourselves with, which will be nice, um, which we do get just momentarily here. And then as we get Fire Blossom, I think we can actually maybe trade. We'll have to see. Grux is ridiculously strong early game. It's been a while since I played this guy either. Um, but Fire Blossom is going to like actually be like our source of damage. Do we have ultimate now, though? Maybe give him a little bonk into tower, see if I can bait him up. Also, when we get uh, Brimstone, will help a little bit with it. As we get Fire Blossom going, it makes it easier to stack as well, because we can kind of AoE down the minions with just the, the proc and not end up... Uh, we get a little bit like a better spread, basically, for our damage. Making it significantly easier to get these stacks, like right here. Boom! See? Juicy stacks! That's what we love to see. Oh, yeah! All right, let's see how he plays this here. Okay, he's eating a little bit. If I can hit him with everything, I think we can trade just fine. And then we'll disengage a little bit once he disengages. Whoops. Oh my god, the auto's not going where I want it. How did it bonk that one, man? We're not actually going to back here. I just have nothing to do with myself. I'm totally backing! Actually, I keep forgetting. I don't think... Yeah, right-clicking doesn't cancel banks in this game. I almost, I almost banked on accident. Would have been a bot move. Could get ganked here. I don't have flash. Grux doesn't have flash. A little bit spooky. I do have big bonk, though. Okay, the fact that he's going... He sprays, huh? We got some ego going in this lane? What the hell is that? He's spraying? What, is this supposed to be like it? Yours? Yeah, he is trying to bait. What a weirdo, man. Let's see if this guy does too much. Another Kai gank taken. Another death not received. Yeah, I mean, if we can get this guy to gank me, like, I am literally just stalling for late game. Not a super exciting pick for you guys to watch. I am very well aware of that. Uh, he might goof here. Oh, it was close. He actually positioned well there. Yeah, if we do get a bonk him into tower, we can maybe do a little something. I think we're chilling. Okay, that's his ult. Little ultimate back. The sprays, what do they mean? Yeah, I think he's trying to like flex a little. Hmm, I might end here. I think if I can get enough CS off this wave, Kai is in mid, which helps. If I can get enough CS off this wave, I don't even care about stacking. Uh, I think we get our fire blossom. And I might have just been wrong. I think we're inting here. I think this is big int moment for me. I'm pretty sure I saw Grux actually back. Try and just clear this fast. Huh? <laughs> dip, 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 dip. All right, hey, I think we got away with it. I think it wasn't awful. Like it could have been very awful, but it wasn't quite. We get Fire Blossom done. I maybe get to do things. Oh, and he doesn't have his item done. He's going Basilisk first, which is pretty normal. So, we might actually be able to do a lot here. Because we're getting Fizzprot done, health, and then a strong passive as well, which we already partially get from Brimstone, but we're more than doubling, I think, right now. Uh, actually, I guess this scales off of items, huh, for the 1.5%. So, not really more than doubling, but... Getting a decent amount of damage off of... Stacks are not great so far, it's been a while since I played this guy, plus we're against a Grux that I've actually been combating some. So, we're not going to be as stacked as we'd like to be, but that's not a big deal. Yeah, I actually played a ton of games with this guy a while ago. I think I even probably brought it up in a video. Oh, I didn't quite get the siege there with the uh, the one, unfortunately. Get a little laggy. Yeah? You want to spray this? Huh? It's 
funny, man. I feel like this guy's, like, on the way to, uh, making sprays the new somebody taunted mast, uh-oh. Or somebody, somebody VEL'd mast. <laughs> Is that gonna be the thing of this game? Oh, hang on. I feel like, uh, Kai's probably not gonna be over here right now. I think it's an awkward time for him in terms of... I don't think his jungle farm's up over here. I'm just basing that off our timers. No, let me stack, man! Let me stack! Yeah, we stacked a little bit. Yeah, Kai's not over here. I think he's goofing right here. I could be wrong. If we get his ultimate, we immediately disengage. I'm chilling. Damn, I thought he'd push up farther there. Okay, momentarily, we're probably going to have to back off. I think my ult, as long as I play it well, is just straight up stronger than his here, though. So that's something to consider. Oh, no, my stacks. Yeah, you looking for that suck? That slurp? Not up yet, huh? It's actually not even close. Seem to be evening out with the Grux at the moment with this power spike. Once he gets Basilisk done, it probably gets quite a bit better for him. Super easy to proc Basilisk and get a lot more auto attack damage for himself. We also have some sustain that we can maybe take advantage of over him with our Q. Be taking that. Yeah, the Q doesn't give crazy stain. It does give a little bit, though. I think there's a very good chance Kai ends up coming over now. Red buff should probably be up, or at least be nearly up for him. And then, like, their whole Fangtooth fight they had is over now. So, I'm expecting we get gank number three here. What? How does that not hit you, man? I think I perfectly missed all my... Stacks there. <laughs> it's okay. Some people will get triggered. It's okay. See, I don't think I actually want to be back in here. I think we take green buff momentarily. I don't know if we go Ella Frost or if we go Tainted Guard, because they have a lot of healing. I think we probably go Tainted Guard. Grux has heals, um, and uh, Kai has heals. And if we can focus the two of them as we get a little deeper into this game, I think we'll have a pretty strong late game on this guy. If I can kind of counter build them a little bit. See if I can get a low enough in time. Nice. Let's go grab green buff if we can. Oops, uh... Called the wrong lane. Probably had dual lane confused there for a second. Yeah, I want to let him know that Grux might actually rotate. And he really might, I still haven't seen him back yet. Alright, get that done. See if we can maybe rotate mid. Oh, now he's back. I still have not gotten the crest done, huh? This is such a late crest. I don't know if that's bad on my part. It's not something I'm used to. I think it's just because Grux hasn't gotten to be as aggro as he normally would. And if he has gotten to be more aggro, then that's actually how we get the crest done. Unless I'm misremembering how this one works. I think it's literally just take damage forehead. Yeah? Have one of those. I'm getting bored. No, I'm getting bored. Have some tower. Yeah, you want to ult this? Oh, you want to ult this? Yeah, really? I think his ult wears off soon enough. I'm not very worried about it. Nice, we got a good E. Pretty sure we're chilling. We'll actually chase. I gotta be a little bit careful here. Nice. Yep, that's a solo gap. Took a little while to get the solo gap, but it's a solo gap. All right, I'm gone. Surely we shouldn't be losing the 1v1 on Grux, right? Surely that shouldn't be happening. I don't think we get rotated on there, but I'm just not gonna risk it. Like we probably could have pushed tower a little bit there. Kai was dead, obviously Grux was dead. I don't even know if Argus is mid or support. Looks like Argus is mid. So I think there's like zero people that would have made their way over, but we'll just dip. See, do we just get to kill this guy? She's getting to him. Hold up, hold up. Which way are we going, man? Oh, did I goof it? No, I didn't. Nice. I literally could not. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I actually could not tell where that got to. Yeah, you you want that? You need it? You can have it. Even though I kind of wanted it to go bop Grux with. See if he pushes back up for me. Push up for Papa. Hang on. Big stack moment? Maybe? Grux, don't do it. Grux, don't do it. I'm stacking. 
He really didn't do it. And I gotta respect him for that. Alright, Kai accounted for in mid. We're getting ult up here. I think my ult cooldown is lower than his, but I could be totally wrong on that. No suck for me, just suck for them? It's really like that? I don't know what he's icing here. I don't know what we're icing, man. Alright, I think we just go get a green buff. No, Kai's accounted for. We can actually maybe push a little here. That tower is 1 HP, by the way. Oh, he's goofing. Oh, he is goofing. Don't know if we're actually getting a kill, though. I did get the block. Couldn't quite reach the Q, though. Yeah, probably just making him back and getting a tower. Oh, do I get the Q in time? I do not. And I got ping diffed on the CS. Boop. I think I can actually yoink this real quick as well. It's a little bit greedy, we'll just clear it fast. Then we'll go grab a green buff. Okay, it's super easy for Grex to rotate. They are literally like diving in him, practically. They're going through the jungle path over there. So, yeah, definitely let him know that. So normally, um, <laughs> in a normal lane, we get our, our starter upgraded way sooner here. It is absurdly late to have finally been getting it upgraded. It is actually just that it finally stacked as well. So we are not going to get big mode, which is normal. We're going to get Razor back, which makes us reflect some damage. Let's get this. I am building basically exclusively Fizzy. Uh, definitely might end up regretting it later on. We will be building Magic D after this. I think we're going to go Ella Frost. Basically, we're going to build a bunch of kind of hybrid items where like the stats on the item pretty much make us tanky, but then the item's passive gives us damage. So, like, right now on Tainted, they get punished for hitting me. On Fire Blossom, they get punished for being close to me. And then with Ella Frost, we're going to kind of get, like, tanky Hydra's autos. Or based off of our own HP, we're going to be able to do bonus damage. Big stacks. Our stacking pace, I feel like it's kind of acceptable, honestly. Considering how long it's been since I played this guy. Actually, not the worst. He is finally mid. The way this guy gets called, it, or gets mad I didn't call missing when he's about to be dead anyways, right? It'd be kind of funny if he did. Yeah? You're coming at me! You're really coming- Okay, he really is coming at me. <laughs> like, we're fine. Kai's still smacking away at that, huh? I don't think I really get a push up left right now. It's a little bit awkward for me. I guess we can ward this and wait for him to push. Is maybe our play? We should probably be looking to make our way over towards um the next Fangtooth whenever whenever people actually head towards that. Can maybe punish him here. I don't have great vision. Man, Fire Blossom's yoinking all my stacks. It's okay. I did it to myself. All right, let's make our way mid. Uh, bro, I am losing my, my pings. Oh yeah? You wanted that? What? You want this? Are you sure? Try and not kill him while he's got Phoenix going. I didn't want her to die. Otherwise, I would have held that a little longer here. Still don't want her to die. We peel. Then we'll try and punish the Argus back here, who's pretty oom. Nice, I think that was actually solid. Morgash actually kind of going crazy here. Yeah, I don't think Argus gets to do things. Unfortunately, I don't get to do things, I need to chill. <laughs> I cannot be diving tower, man. I real casually dove tower there. Let's see if we can stall. It looks like basically this way uh, only one of us dies. Does she live? No way she kites them. If she did, if she does, she's the goat. She like, I don't know if she did it on purpose. She basically like baited them off of me, then lived. Then Greystone gets in. He might cook. Can't tell. She gets a kill. She's actually crazy, man. What a gamer. 
I have so much respect for that play. Holy shit. Imagine if I just yoinked that green camp from her, though. I have so much respect for you, yoink. I'm coming. Hang on. Okay, well, I think they're maybe getting to do some things here. I didn't feel like I had a great opportunity to actually bonk there yet. I still feel like I don't. I'm mostly trying to get the stupid Argus off of me. It does seem like we overall succeeded. Yeah, that was an awkward fight. I don't know, like, I feel like I, I basically wanted them to stack for me, and then they never remotely did. So I never got to get a good E or a good, uh, ult. And I eventually just kind of burned Kit in order to, you know, not die. I sort of proxied Morigesh. Oops, sorry, I had the mic super hard. I sort of proxied Morigesh there. I wasn't really paying enough attention for it. She does not deserve that. I love her. Be taking that. Maybe we can be taking this. This Elifrost item should be really, really good for upping our ability to fight pretty much anybody, even though it's sort of a fizzy item. Let's see, I maybe just let him push that. We got perfect money here. Can go set up for Fangtooth. Yeah, he can maybe take Tower here if he actually tries to go for it. I don't think he even will. But then we'll go head over to Fangtooth. Let him know that I'm coming over. Yeah, honestly, this game right here, by the way, the, the 202 on the Severog, where I feel like we're having, in a way, high impact when we actually come to a fight, but also we're only 2-0-2 at 22 minutes, is a very typical Severog game. So while it might not be high, oc high octane enough for a lot of you guys, it's also a great representation of the character, in all honesty. Yeah, he's actually pushing left, by the way. He's going for it. Nah, I mean, if he takes T1, he takes T1. I think the minions get it either way. If I see him push for T2, then I'll definitely back. I don't think we're getting a whole lot of peel here. I wanted to keep him from smiting. Come on, get an E. Come on. I kind of forgot that my starter exists, by the way, and that's probably troll on my part. Well, it was troll on my part. Yeah, I don't know if that was big brain. I basically just wanted to keep Kai from smiting so we actually got the fang tooth. Ooh, happened to get his dash there, huh? Ella Frost doing some stuff. What? Oh, he's just fighting in mid. Okay, that's like a separate thing. <laughs> I thought, uh... Wait. We have a Bella KDC? You want that? No? I figured she could, uh, use the mana more, to be honest. I'm not really thinking we're gonna particularly use the buffs at the moment. I was just figuring she'd want some mana to clear mid. Bellica seems to want some farm over here. I'm just realizing I actually don't know what my team comp is. Who is where? Do we have a Fang Mao ADC? Oh yeah, no, it's a Bellica support right there. I can tell by that. The little ability to get the, the minions low for me to stack off of, and then seemingly not attempting to CS any of them, because she's just my girl. That was pretty, that was pretty schnazy. All right, I think let's push left real quick. We're definitely going to go actual magic defense next. We're going to go flux matrix. It's another, like, it's a really solid item on us. I've just been, uh, I'm going a bunch of other items that I feel like are kind of more easy to work with in terms of just, like, procking impact type stuff. But this is really nice where we just up our damage and we get tankier. Probably go for these, get some haste. Seems like the game's going pretty well so far. I'm still realizing, I'm assuming based on the Lightning Hawk, that we just have an absolute weirdo, uh, <laughs> Greystone ADC. And that's what, that's what happened, and I just didn't realize ever. I'm trying to remember, because I never got any jungle ganks. I'm trying to remember if I even paid attention to who my jungler was earlier in the game. Okay, they maybe need to chill and right. I don't really know. I don't want to, like, backseat them super hard, but I'm not over there, and we don't have a fang tooth. Like, there's nothing to really fight over at the moment. Let's see if we can get a little more stacks going. A 
That's a little bit. Trying to help out our girl in mid. Damn, she actually got kind of deleted there. I think she died to Argus. Well, that's too bad. Let's see if we can clean up at all. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, we should be able to... Okay, that's a flash. I can maybe... Damn, I got a peel. I was going to look for a little flash bonk right there. Yeah, you want this? You really want this? You really want this? No, you do not, man. That's a big bonk. You do not want it. Man, he didn't backpedal. Fire Blossom Diff? That's a Fire Blossom Diff. Oh, and here comes an ADC. Oh, no, what am I going to do? I actually should probably chill. Uh, hang on, hang on. I still got my flash up, too. Do we actually get sneaky with her? I don't want to flash just for this, but it's tempting. Oh? Oh? Wait, okay. <laughs> what the? I actually don't know if she flashed and it didn't give me the audio because she was through the wall or if I'm just absolutely lost. I can't tell. I don't quite have money. Hang on. We yoink some farm. I need my stacks, man. Let Papa get stacked. Alright, I'm a tanky boy. We finally got some magic armor going. It's still not close to our actual FizzD, but... Let's see, is there any other magic armor I even care about? Crystalline Curse in general is really good. I don't think it's all that good against this team. Actually, I guess it's probably decent versus Argus. Because he's either spraying his right click. Sounds a little bit weird to say that. Or, or tethering a lot of the time. So maybe it does stack pretty easy and then we get a zoom. I'm trying to think, are there any items I'm sleeping on that would be nutty? Probably World Breaker last would be really good. Not really sleeping on that, though. That's pretty normal. Yeah? He does not like that we just invaded him. Hey! Yeah, I'm tank. You guys know I'm tanky, right? You guys know about this, right? Okay, my ult got CC'd off. That's too bad. I was about to give him a big bonk towards my teammates. Probably just would have been a kill. Very tempted to get greedy, but I think we just do free fang tooth if they're down. Guys... Guys, this is so free if we'll group for it. I don't know why Greystone's going left lane. Did I miss something? Was Grux actually pushing? We might get it smited here. Let's hope that we can just kill him if he goes for it. Did he flash that? I feel like he got there very quick. Like he might have just flashed and then messed it up. And been looking goofy as hell. But I don't know. You telling me to retreat because you want farm? That's fair. I respect that, man. I respect that. Although I think you might need help, so I'm coming back. <laughs> I think she is getting run at. Okay, I will be disengaging. No, no, no. Dip out, dip out, dip out. Yeah, there, there's, um... A Kai in the jungle. Otherwise, otherwise we probably keep going there. Wait, right? Am I losing it? Why wouldn't he take river buff? I'm pretty sure there was a Kai right there in the jungle. And now he's over there. M am I losing my mind? Bro, I would have fought that if it was a if it was just me versus two. I can do that. It was both the mages though, which is a little scuffed for my build. Our build's definitely better at dealing with uh Grux and Kai and Drongo. All right, recommended. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. I was thinking about these two. Zooming would be good. Magic armor really would be good though. I feel like we're doing decent damage. Let's actually go this. World Breaker is super normal for me. This is gonna be the tankiest, um, tankiest build I've ever gone, I think, on this guy. But I actually think just being zoomy and then getting super tanky against Argus is probably our most important thing because I think Argus is our best player. Anybody want to tether? A little something? Excuse me, sir. Hey. Have one of those. Uh, Morgan, chill. <laughs> I was just goofing. Little Bellica. I don't know. Do we actually gank the Bellica 1v1, though? Maybe we respect it. I mean, true ours. Okay, never mind. No, we gank. We gank. 
This is not a 1v1. <laughs> she got bopped. Oh no. Oh, their Bellica has way more damage, that's why. Their Bellica has like an actual damage build. You have a tether. I don't think my Q hits are up here. I'm trying to make sure she doesn't actually get to go down. Yeah. And now you get bonked. Okay, Grux seems to be going left. So, we'll actually defend left. I'm going, I'm going. Oops, and we might be later than I was thinking we would be. This does seem like the type of game it's really hard to get these guys to, uh... Maybe not, maybe not hard. On their own, they're not really looking for objectives very much at all, I feel like. Um... Give me iced, huh? Getting spooked. Does also have like a 45 second cooldown, so it's just smart to actually use it. But I do think uh, it's a very easy game to lose to split push if they actually go for that angle. If they're smart about it, because our team does not really look for object as much. And if they do just go around split pushing, it takes me so long to kill people, I legitimately can't deal with it. It's not like I'm a hyper carry. Like on Severog, we could very easily, you know, go like 10 and 1 here, lose game. Super possible. Very much more like a competitively viable, strong team fight character than a uh, than a big like game carrier. Okay, can we hang on? This is a big one. Oops, I missed it. Group up. What if we go for the group up tactics angle? It's already working. Is that actually all it takes sometimes? Big bonk. Okay, I think he. I don't know how he got through it. He did get through it. I'm getting punished. We're going to actually flash. That was not a good big bonk. I feel bad. I scuffed this fight pretty bad for us. So far, it's actually going all right, and I kind of want to linger so I can help out. Oh, I wish he went on Mori there. Hang on, little peel. And then a dip. Oh no. Yeah. Missing the big bonk there kind of scuffed this fight really hard. I think we just have to look for the reset if I can get it. That sucks. I feel bad. I think that's decently on me. Because if we got, for one thing, an ultimate that did anything, but especially a genuinely good ult and then took less damage, I think I could actually probably do a decent amount there. We'll see if we can catch anybody sleeping though. The, the bonk's already back up and we can maybe just wrap around mid, but they probably don't have vision here. Ow. Oh. oh! That's where you are, huh? Let me play this a little weird. Actually, they see me here, huh? <laughs> I'm too big, man. Normally I could have gotten away with that. Yeah, they're gonna try and go on me here, I think. No, you're just dipping? you just banking it up, really? They were not playing games with me one bit. But it's just one of me. Just a single one. No river buff? Wow. Alright, how much money do we need? Quite a bit. I do think Crystalline Curse would have gone really hard in that fight. Actually, do I get haste out of it? It might have just been straight up better than Flux Matrix, honestly. Because we get a lot more magic defense, which we've kind of been needing. Um, and then we pretty consistently, when we're actually like taking that magic damage, getting that, that move speed to be able to both get out of fights and to get into fights. I think it probably makes sense for me to be taking blue when we're this deep in the game. By the way, this guy ended up building very tanky overall. Straight up Crystalline Curse, I think just because he's scared of me. Is there a spray for that, Grux? I'll let it go. <laughs> I still can't tell if it was meant to be BM or not. <laughs> no! We end! I think they're actually pretty occupied in mid and in right. So I think we can actually force this trade. If Kai does rotate, then we're definitely getting pretty punished, but then we're also keeping another person away from right. Which so far is going well over there. His ultimate's disgusting in terms of this deep in the game, by the way. God, I wish my E was not so slow, man. I think now that his ult's done, we should actually be pretty pretty even trading him. And I still have my ult ready to go. Let's see how he wants to play this. Yeah, seems like we're just going to disengage.
I really just kind of want to farm up and get this item done so we get our full 8-game power spike. Which I think we actually get right here, maybe, yeah? Perhaps. Okay, we'll be heading over right lane. Okay, now we really don't need farm. We'll get a potion at some point. All right, hopefully they chill a little bit. I think he's pulling Fangtooth super early. That's got to be a primal Fangtooth too at this point, so it's going to chonk him. See if Fangman wants to take this with me. What the hell is that item? Yeah, Greystone, you're just losing your HP, man. That's too bad. I really want to get to him. Oh, we actually maybe do. Is that Reach? No. Fangman might be able to 1v1. <laughs> you waiting for me, Morty? Is that what that was? No? I don't know why she didn't want to take that. Bro, he just died? Kill him or dip, man. Don't just sit there forever. What the hell? I don't know about this one. Actually, maybe, maybe this is just good for him. I gotta try and get to the Argus if I can. There we go. That's an Argus down. I think we can deal with Bellica, no problem. She is decently high damage. Oh! I wonder if I could have gotten that off in the air. I don't think it would have let me. Okay, so hopefully pushing right, yeah? No, boys, push right. They're, they're all dead. This is what I mean, man. <laughs> I have to try and siege this on my own right here. I thought she would run and not turn. I feel like that was actually an insanely bad turn. But because I assumed too much, I did kind of troll myself. Bro, I can't blink. That was so scuffed, man. I literally... I, I don't even know what that was. Maybe my internet just actually straight up died. Like, I was pressing buttons and they just weren't happening. So I just kind of tilted and walked away. We greed. You get a bonk. Okay, that's fine. We got inhib down. They're getting orb prime in the meantime. Um, I'm not sure if it was worth me full committing there, but I kind of felt <laughs> felt dedicated my cause. Hopefully they don't. Hopefully they don't in here while I'm down, and we can just successfully get the free inhib and look to regroup with them once I'm back up. Hang on. We even calm this. Chill while I spawn. AKA don't int for red buff. Okay, that means yeah. That means in for red buff. That was actually his flash, right? And he just somehow went two feet, even though there's literally nothing there. Or did he just play the wrong sound effect, or like somebody else flashed somewhere and the audio was weird? I think that was his flash. You have the dash item? No, I'm pretty sure that was his flash. I actually don't understand. <laughs> How did his flash? Is that what happened to me? Is there, are these anti-flash pred servers right now? What is this bubble? Oh, Mesmer. Oh, this is an item every once in a while. It's like, oh, this is an item we recommend you build. And I'm like, <laughs> nice try. Nice fucking try, boys. Yeah, like I'm here for the bubble item. Come on. I got enough bubble and smite. Like I really like dipped out and just ran around the corner and came back in. Uh, Yeah, okay. Tenacity's pretty good. They get a pick. Like we probably try and help out Bellica in mid here. You good? Alright, we'll head over left. Their Bellica is actually split pushing the inhib lane pretty far, which in Smite makes more sense. But in this game, I think it's just troll. I could be wrong though. Can we just get an Argus here? Did I troll my team with that? I felt like just surely it's good. But then so far it seems like it's not. I don't know.
That's a big bonk. Oh my god, I get so punished by the stupid tower there. I want to keep setting us up to actually push this. But I don't think we're getting to here. And then Bellic is just going to 1v1 in right lane, because that's important. Sucks. The Grox doesn't really matter very much, so... Oh, that's a good flash. So I want to be going on the Argus, because he's their most important player, and it's not close. I can maybe kill Grux in a sec here. Yeah, we're just going to leave it at that, man. You going to come on down or what? Yeah, that's too bad. I was hoping that Bonk and Argus under tower would actually get us any follow-up. I think uh, I think my team was both more dead than I realized. And then also just not paying attention for it. Because I do think we still should have been able to punish him there. This is a rough game. This is why I've stopped playing Severog, by the way. Because while I actually do have some fun with his kit, it's just like, okay, but does your team, like, is your team going to follow up Big Bonk? He's not that good at killing people on his own. He's okay at it, but not nearly as good as almost anybody else I could play. Or at least that I would play. Should probably try and set up for Fangtooth here. This is a crazy... <laughs> to be 10 and 1 and feel like I've gotten to do this a little. <laughs> it's such a Severog game, man. No, I'm 10 and 1. Yeah, I feel like we're going to lose at any given moment. Luckily, we have been punishing Drongo pretty hard, which makes it a lot harder for him. It does very much hurt that we just don't have an actual ADC at all. All right, if we can get to Fangtooth, that would be good. If we can get the boys down here to objective. Kind of shepherd them in a little bit. Yeah? Nice, they're actually, they're pretty aware of this. Maybe they're like, you know what, maybe 42 minutes is just a little too much. Grux is pushing left. I am absolutely staying here. Somebody else can back. Yeah, Fang Mount backing is fine. Okay, I probably have to be going on Argus here. I'm just going to try and keep him from getting to do things. Does he have a ward? No. Okay, that's a flash down. If he ever lets me get the angle? Okay, that's fine. No way he gets to kill me, right? Oh, I wanted it, man. I wanted it so bad. If there's no Grux, I get to go for Big Bonk there. I think I get one shot, though, with the Grux there. Okay, we did get Fangtooth. Let's see if we can set up for Orb Prime. Pull back for a little bit of HP right here. Wait, do I have a pot right now? I do. Whatever. We don't have anything else to do with our money. It's not smite. There's no 3k pots. Please, please, please. Guys, we already have big buff. What if we stack the other big buff, get crazy regen and crazy damage? <laughs> I feel like pain, it's not working. I need to type it out in chat. Oh my God, man. What is, bro? What is Greystone doing? And he's now he's gonna be like, guys, I called attack right lane, if you'll notice. Morigash is lagging out in base. We're two people. Oh, we deserve to lose. I actually wanna stop playing and just let us lose right now. That is so fucking absurd, man. This is brain melting gameplay right here. Thing now, stop doing orb, man. Morigesh actually AFK in base because she's lagging, which is valid. It is unlucky, but it's valid. I don't know what the hell everybody else is doing, and it's driving me up a fucking wall. Just like I just drove him up a wall. Dead! <laughs> I'm losing my shit. I have to go to Fed right lane from split push. <laughs> There's two people there. Oh my god. I called it early. I called it like 20 minutes in. This is a split push kind of game. No way they int us. No way they int us. They're gonna int. Oh, there's an ult. I don't think he knows what my item does. He actually just killed himself. 
Oh. How am I doing enough damage that I'm getting these? Okay. Now we can go for the attack right lane angle that Greystone has wanted for the past two minutes. I swear to God, if they do orb. <laughs> I saw Kai over by orb. I was going to be so sad if third team gets it now. Unfortunately, because we didn't do orb, I don't get a regen back up and I'm just stuck here at half HP. I think we'll probably go for a little... Please don't do buff. Please do not do jungle buff. Please do not do jungle buff. Bellica, please. You are doing three camp at 46 minutes while we're 5v2. I might stop talking for the rest of this game. I don't think talking is good for me right now. Well, our minions are dead, so I'm going to go mid. I'm in, I'm in great pain. <laughs> What's funny, I actually don't think I'm even exaggerating this, man. I think this is actually fucking agony. There's just every once in a while you get one of those games or it's just, what the fuck are we doing? I am not going to BM any one of them in game. I will not do that. I will be above that. But holy shit, does it hurt me. Greystone is now doing orb instead of doing a tank right lane. <laughs> My mental, my mental, please. Kai, don't do it. You don't win these, bozo. Brother. Wait, that. Okay, never mind. Didn't think that would work like that. All right. That was actually pretty sick on his part if he did that on purpose and did not think it would troll me. Don't get me wrong. Orb is actually fine here. Just the irony of now coming to Orb when we could have done it so easily earlier and instead he decided to int in right lane. That's all. Okay, we go mid. Hopefully, Bellica doesn't die before then. Hopefully, we can do Fang too soon. Oh! Oh, I thought we had more boys around. I'm just wasting all. That's fine. No, I dip. I dip. Ah! Uh, no, no, this is not. I'm not trying to bait you guys in here, man. Not liking this one bit. Oh my god, do we actually kill Argus? Wait, maybe this is good. I didn't think we'd have enough damage to kill him there. We actually got follow up. The E was huge. I get bonk again soon. It's not a very long cooldown. Not at this stage, at least. I'm mostly just trying to group with my boys. Make sure we're not dying anywhere. Nice. Good stuff. I got flash, so I'm chilling. I can just go big tank mode. What the hell? My bonk! Nice. We actually won the game. Oh my god. This is, you know what, this was going to be my last game of the day anyways. With my new recording schedule, this is going to be the final game and I just wanted to make it happen. Thank God for me, this is the final game. And I could just mentally reset and forget this happened until a few days from now when I go to edit it. Oh my God. That was chaos, man. Did I even do all that much damage? Morigash did similar amounts, considering who we who we were, considering we we're like full tank Severog. I think Morigash mostly did fine, by the way. Um, she was not. I, I don't know if she literally ever did anything that tilted me. I mean, it was annoying that she like was lagging in base, but that's just unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> nobody else came close, though, man. So that does partially also explain how the game was going the way it was, is that we were doing like all of the damage. But anyways, salt aside... Um, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video and I will see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory. Say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame. I'm sitting here in this empty room. Walls keep tumbling down.